Welcome, 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 welcome to the episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with our first edition of Quick Hits of the Day. I'll be back a little later today uh, to get into some more news. But we're going to start off with Billy Joe Saunders. What is next for Billy Joe? Um, he had eye surgery in a Fort Worth area hospital. Shout out Cowtown. Shout out Funky Town. Um, but he will be back, and we're going to get into what's next for Billy Joe Saunders. Because you got lots of good options, and um, we're going to get into that. But first, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Also, like our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, there will be new content uploaded tomorrow on that. I'm going to talk to some fighters. Um Please like and subscribe, uh, and that's going to be completely everything we do on that channel is going to be completely dedicated to uh, every dime we make is going to go to, to autism research and recovery and, and Taka, which is the autism community in action. Uh, it's a really, really good cause that is near and dear to our heart. Um, so please uh, like and subscribe and, and share that as well. Uh, but let's get into the topic of today's show, Billy Joe Saunders. Um, and, and at first, I'm, I'm not trying to get controversial. I'm not trying to stir up a debate or or or, or, or anything like that. Um, I'm really not. Uh, I'm just trying to be sincere. Look, Billy Joe Saunders quit after the eighth round of the fight. I'm, I'm not having a whole debate over it. That's what he did. Um. If you look up the definition of, of, of the word quit in Webster's, it'll say, it, it says, um, to cease normal activity, to leave, or to uh, admit defeat. That is literally what Billy Joe Saunders did. I'm not judging the, the, his, his, his reason for quitting. I think his reason for quitting was legitimate. I'm not saying that he was wrong to quit or he shouldn't have quit. If you look at it from a perspective of um, you know, what's in his best interest, for his career and possibly for his health and, and, and vision, quitting is the clear choice. But he quit, right? I, I don't mean that in any negative way. If you're putting a negative connotation in that, that's your own connotation. I'm not saying it in, in any other way other than you know the word for leaving a job uh, in the middle or, or, or admitting defeat is quitting. That's the word that we use in the English language to describe that. And, and one who quits is a quitter. So. I mean, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying he was wrong to quit. I'm not judging. I'm not judging him for quitting. I'm just saying that he quit in he quit after the eighth round of that fight. Now, what's next for Billy Joe Saunders? Um, that's a great question. I, I, obviously, he's going to need some time off after that eye injury. Um, you know, he says he can still make 160, which I I I think is crucial. Um. I'd like to see him. There's a couple of names I'm going to throw out. Gabe Rosado, I'd like to see him fight. Jaime Munguia at 160, I think, is a good fight. Uh, and, and, and win that fight. And then go back to Demetrius Andre at 160. Or Andre wants to come up at 168. If you want to stay at 168, two names I would like to throw out here are Zach Parker, which I think is a tremendous fight. And um, I, I think at 168, Caleb Smith is still a great fight. Win those fights, you're right back in the picture. You know, there, there are still plenty of fights for him to take. So Billy Joe has a long way. If I was going to write up his path, I would say take a real, real, real tuna fight. Take an easy win. Um, then if you can get back down to 160, fight Jaime Munguia. Fight, I think I, that's the fight I think he can win. I think he can box circles around Munguia. You know, uh, um, I think his plan that Canelo was going to be as slow as Munguia, I think he can implement that off of Munguia. Um, 
beat Monkey in a fight, then fight um Demetrius Andrade, and bang, you're a world champion again. So the, the path back to the top, I think, is fairly straightforward for Billy Joe. I still think he's a good fighter. I, I think Billy Joe did well in the Canelo fight. I think he did as well as he could have. I, I just think Canelo, at this point in time, is, is on a different level. Um, I, I'm not when, when I say Billy Joe quit, I'm not throwing shade at him. I'm not hating on him. I'm just saying, as a matter of fact, he quit after the eighth round, and he quit because his eye socket was broken, which is which is reasonable. Uh, I'm not saying it's unreasonable what he did. I'm just saying like that that's the word that we use um, in, in the English language to describe what he did. Uh, I'm looking at this now. My box rack on my left on my computer here isn't working, so uh, I'm looking at it on my phone. Um, 168 is not the most talent-loaded division. It really isn't. Um, you got Jacobs, who looked horrible and eking out a very close and somewhat controversial against Gabe Rosado in a fight that could have went either way. Um, I, I think that's a, that's a good fight. I mean, I don't know if, if they could get him in a fight with any of the PBC guys. Uh, Benavides is the other name. as on a plan who's fighting Canelo, so let's take them out of the picture. Um, you know, the, the, there's names there, but none of those guys really, I, I think, have a clear path to victory. Over Billy Joe. Now, some of those guys could beat Billy Joe, but Billy Joe could beat them too. So, I, I mean, I, I, I don't think Billy Joe goes back into like kind of the, the middle of the deck. I still think he's at near at or near the top of the deck for a world title fight. I'd like to see him win one fight, I, you know, one legitimate fight. And I think that depends if it's at 60 or 60. If it's at 68, fight Kaelin Smith, fight Zach Parker. If it's at 60, fight Andre, or, or, or I mean, fight Munguia, and then fight Andre. I, I, I don't think those are unreasonable things. Honestly, I would not go right into an Andre fight, because um, Andre can pop too, and you want to test that eye out. I would take something in the middle, but I, I don't think Billy Joe is that far off. Uh, again, if it came off as me saying that Billy Joe quit, sounds like I'm hating on him. I'm not. Like, I, I just don't know what other word you would use. Like, if you have another word, if quit's the wrong word, tell me why it's the wrong word. I understand. His, I understand why he quit. He quit because he had a broken. He had a broken eye, uh, uh, orbital bone. I'm not saying he shouldn't have quit. I'm just saying he quit. All right. Uh, fair enough. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, I'm going to upload this show, and I have another show I'm going to come back a little later today to get into. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog comes at you twice a day, every day, um, 8 to 10 minutes. We're probably going to do a second show on Josh Boatze. Um, He fights this week, and, I, and, I, and he's an interesting fighter that I want to break down. I think I'm going to do the show on that. Um, and please also like the Texas Boxing Scene channel, brand new on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. There's going to be new content uploaded to that um, from uh, it is May 12th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.